Hey, Masa here. Guess what these are? Spices. I just came back from spice shopping. I will visit Japan during the upcoming summer vacation and I decided to take some spices with me for friends and family. Nice idea, right? Spices are cheaper in Pakistan than they are in Japan. And on top of that, Pakistani rupee has sunk in value against many currencies, including yen. So it makes sense that you bring things from Pakistan to Japan instead of the other way around. Now, this vlog won't be about spices though. Instead, it will be about being a foreigner in Pakistan again. Yes, your favorite topic if you're one of the local people. Let's see what the Chinese has to say about being in Pakistan. <laughs> now, I was browsing around the spice section in a supermarket yesterday and there was a staff organizing products on the shelves. I said hello and complimented on how I appreciated their choice of the products. A few seconds later, a young woman appeared because his English wasn't very good. <clears throat> and she started being inquisitive about me. Remember, in Pakistan, if you are a foreigner, people will develop curiosity about you because there aren't many foreigners. So she asks, where are you from? And believe it or not, with just one question like this, the conversation may become quite involved. That's because the local people tend to have a lot of responses to offer you for your answer to their original question. So for example, she goes, where are you from? And I go, I am from Japan. And she's like, oh, but you look like a Chinese. And of course I go like, ha <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The mostly same thing, huh? mostly same thing. <laughs> and she's like, ha <laughs> And by this time, some other folks have gathered around us and they are going like, <laughs> And that's already emotionally engaging, if you ask me. I mean, it doesn't sound much, when I narrate it like this, but all this is with complete strangers. And it's not like each one of us is a stranger to the rest of us. No, no, no. It's me and everybody else. So frankly, it's tiring. And it gets worse when she goes, I want to go to Japan. And I don't know what to say because I can't help wondering if she means what I'm afraid she means. That is to say, she wants to marry me or something. Two minutes after the initial encounter. I know it sounds crazy, and some guys out there must be going, f you, Masa, no one wants to marry your ass. I know, you may be right. But all I'm trying to say is, some stuff does sound creepy, whether or not it is actually creepy. So, <clears throat> She goes, I want to go to Japan, and after a moment of pause, I go, Oh, oh good, oh good, I'm glad to hear that. And I go through this, I go home, and the next day, which is today, I went back to the same store, this time to buy these spices in bulk. Remember, I'm buying this for friends. So, <clears throat> When a foreigner goes shopping, he attracts a lot of attention. But when a foreigner goes shopping and picks up 50 plus bags and boxes of spices, he attracts a lot of attention. And of course, the same woman appears. <laughs> and, and she's like, are you married? Are you married? See what I mean? So I'm like, yo! I'm here to pick up some spices, not a spouse. That's all I wanted to say today. Off my chat. Thanks guys. Bye.